Greetings fellow Gravewalkers and welcome back to another video and today we will be continuing our Shadow of War Let's Play and I know it's been it's been a while uh, but I've just decided to go down the path of the longer it takes oh well and uh, just taking longer will mean higher quality so while it may not you know get as much out it will be higher quality stuff so <clears throat> We're just going to continue with this, and uh, hopefully it goes well. My father's being held in the War Chief's camp, but we were spotted before we could attempt a rescue. Baronor wants to wait till daybreak, hit them with a small company. Is there any way to... Oh, you can skip cutscenes. <laughs> I hate dealing with the cutscenes with the Gondorians because they just talk on and on. Oh crap. Oh wow. I'm already having issues. It's been all of five seconds. It's because I'm used to uh, Shadow of Mordor now. With things being a little, little different between the games, it's tripping me up. Shadow of Mordor is definitely more difficult in this department of getting health back. In this one, at least, you know, you can just drain them. Definitely an improvement. I think most of you will probably agree. You know, I, I never know, like, how to really approach these videos, like the ones where I'm actively playing the game. Because sometimes I feel like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm talking too much about stuff that doesn't matter, or I'm not talking enough about the game. Or I'm just, you know, not talking at all. So, I, I realize that my commentary is often very awkward, which is weird in this case, because... Oh, I'm dead. Oh. No! to start the mission completely over again. If I do, that would suck. No, I just... I feel like my my lackluster commentary over here on, like, uh, you know, just over here is uh, kind of strange because for a while on Snapshot, I was doing fine. Oh, yep, I have to redo everything. Crap. That's not pleasant. I sometimes wonder if I should edit these more like uh, Tear of Grace's old ones. Like, you know, jump around, have more energy. I, I don't know what exactly. I don't know. Uh, leave your thoughts on that. Should I, you know, maybe not show every last little thing I do? Or do you like the more long form, taking a while to get stuff done? Because sometimes I feel like, wow, it's taken me what? I don't know what episode this is. This has to be like 10, 9, 10? And I'm not even out of Minus Ethel. Like, I sometimes feel like maybe I just need to, you know, cut stuff down, get more done, and just not show the full thing that goes down. So, you know, leave your thoughts below on that. On what I should, uh,. What I should do. Should I make it more fast paced with, uh, you know, more editing between stuff, you know, uh, jumping between stuff? That, again, think Tear of Grace. Or is it okay to have this more long form? Because 
You know, the long form used to really be a thing on YouTube that everybody loved, but nowadays, uh, things just are so fast-paced on YouTube that I'm not sure anymore. Like, people love long form, but the individual thing cut down. Like, people love 100 Days in Minecraft stuff, which is all, like, really long. But, yet, yeah, each individual day is short, so, you know, uh, you know, I just, I just, uh, find your thoughts interesting on what I should do for that. Uh, not quite certain if I want to keep this format of chatterboxing about non-gameplay stuff while I'm playing, or, or what, so... You know, all around, that's just something where, that's the community's thing. I don't really mind doing either, but it's the viewers who really care about that sort of thing. As to whether or not it's, you know, long, if it's short, if it's, you know, gonna drag on. All that is decided by the viewer, not by me, really. Because, in my opinion, I like doing long, you know, show everything sort of stuff. Because that's a lot of the content that I, you know, really like. I am in your debt, right? And that I've been, uh, just kind of exposed to for they the longest time. The like, literally, the furthest back stuff I've watched on YouTube is old school Let's Plays. Which don't have high editing because they were back in, like, 2013. So that's really the question. Do I go back to the roots of how YouTube used to be, or what? I am not going to watch through every cutscene again. Once again. I think I'm going to skip a lot of like the boring cutscenes. If there's a cool one, like the ones later on with Targaroth and Zog and stuff, I'll probably keep those. I'll probably watch those ones through. Just because those are moments that, you know, pretty much anybody can like. But I know a lot of people find the Gondorian cutscenes really annoying. Me, I'm just doing it to save time because, again, don't have all the time in the world in a video to spend on just watching the Gondorians faff around. But it is a nice change of pace how quick Shadow of War is compared to Mordor. And I do love Shadow of Mordor, don't get me wrong. I think it definitely deserves its title as one of the best Lord of the Rings games ever made, but... That game is way slower paced. Whoa, crap. <clears throat> way slower paced than... Uh, I am very lucky I got distracted. Uh, you know, it's way slower paced than Shadow of War is. That's not exactly a bad thing. I, I know I've described it as Dark Souls Lord of the Rings at one point in your early game. So, you know, makes sense why it's slow paced. Obviously still not as hard as any Souls game, but the uh the the, the idea is there. That was really cool. I don't know how I did that. I'm in the floor. Okay. That's, uh, that does it. So it's been not even 10 minutes and I've already gotten a mission done. She can show us them. So, you know, that's pretty good in my opinion considering how these videos normally go. That's been about 10 minutes actually while I wait on the cutscene. We're gonna, or while we're on the loading screen, I'm gonna, three, two, one. If you haven't seen the video that I did going over... Uh, the fact that I have to 3, 2, 1, the sync the video. The war is here. Uh, we can yeah, I have to 3, 2, 1, sync the video whenever I need to start a new game clip. So, <clears throat> when you see me do that, just be aware of that. Oh, uh, Shelob. Talia. The ring is lost, but I will have my answers.
Shilob! Minus Ethel is on the verge of collapse. We need the Palantir. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> I know that's a really long cutscene, so I really don't want to sit through the whole thing. Alright, what was I going for? Wraith Chain was the one I was going for next. Alright, so now we have this mission. Now, I know this mission is not by any means a fun one or an easy one when you're on high difficulties because of that. There's just so many orcs coming from so many directions that it is incredibly difficult. And the fact that it's not just, oh, killed as many orcs, it's literally just survive. <laughs> Objective updated. Survive. Oh, crap. I don't have Elven Light, do I? It is literally just objective updated. Survive. Power and despair to all who wield it. The blade ceases. It's just Halo Reach all over again. That's a fun throwback. So in case that doesn't, uh, you don't get what I mean by a fun throwback. That was one of the first videos that I wanted to do, like majorly on this channel. Uh, back when I first started was Halo Reach in under three hours for the achievement and that literally never came to fruition because I got stupidly sick uh, my voice was completely shot for like three weeks which is oh boy it is just not a fun time being sick um if you've seen the Halo Broken Alliances trailer on this channel that was made while I was sick so those voice lines were not easy on me. <clears throat> oh, wait. Uh, that trailer might... I know there's lines from it when I was sick. But I made the trailer afterward. But a lot of the footage that was recorded for that was recorded when I was still not feeling well. Uh, which really did suck, in my opinion. Because I still do want to finish that. I really, really do. Uh, especially now with the advent of, uh, you know, slots being opened, as it were. Oh my! Oh no! Why is he the one trying to kill me? He's all the way over there! Yeah, no, uh, just do still want to do that at some point. It's just gonna be, like, obviously a project. And one that I currently just know I can't do. Oh, come on! I better get saved. I better get saved. I better get saved! I better get saved! I no! The servants of Sauron deny death. Just as you do. You know what? Just so this doesn't end up being hours of me dying, I'm gonna cut to when I finally succeed. So, uh, BRBs. And we're back. And I'm back to here. And with Elven Rage, so hopefully that means I can kill the bloody orc. Boom! There we go. That is him dead. Nazgul! The city is lost! Save your people! Retreat! You betrayed us! For your survival, the blood here means nothing. I would give all of Gondor to save you. What of our people? Of our honor? There is no honor in death. Castamir!
deliver what was promised. to our bargain. My daughter's freedom. Castamere, no! She is free to die with her people. She seems to not like his death, but I'm completely fine with it. And there he goes, walking away like a big dum dum. Yeah, you're not taking on an Asgul. No. You know, the fact she actually listens to Tally and probably is what actually saves her life. Well, this is the fun part, isn't it? Arguably, fighting the Nazgul is the easy part of this mission, I would say. I would be willing to argue fighting the Nazgul is the easy part. I would much rather fight Nazgul. Oh, crap. Uh. Uh, three... Two, one. No, oh, thank you. No, I won't. Honestly, the Nazgul will just, like, move so slowly. And the fact that they all attack one by one, they're actually surprisingly easy to kill. Um. <laughs> that actually looked... Really cool. I might have to grab a still of that. I am fully willing to. Now, I would argue that fighting the Nazgul, though is easier than that first part with the orcs. I don't know why, it just is easier. They don't fight back much. They're slow. They all attack one by one. As you can see, I mean, you can pretty much just focus on one. You can pretty much just focus on one when the others come in, you just deflect them back and then carry on on the one that you're on. Actually, I've never tried emptying their health bar. I always banish them. On the last one, I'm gonna try just whittling their health bar to nothing. Oh, there was my. There you go. Got hit for the first time the entire fight. I took down three Naz or two Nazgul. So ooh, there's my second hit because the game is being weird. There's Nazgul number three defeated. Now let's get this one out of here. Get that one off my back. Oh, here we go. It just auto does it. There we go. So there's the answer. If you drain the Nazgul's health bar to nothing, they will just literally die. They just get banished. Same as they would normally be defeated. I took what? Two hits? During that whole fight? Go! 
what is he doing in this scene? Like, why does he never do it again? Well, I mean, he's trying to dominate him, but, like, why doesn't he try it again later? Just freeze him in place. Oh, it's her. Huh. <laughs> he did technically lose a hand. Get up, Ranger. I like how Talion's armor becomes dark there. Nazgul all look at him like, oh crap. sad how little Sauron does in this game because he looks awesome it is truly a shame what you do one fight against him you're done <laughs> that's it Also, the obligatory, he's voiced by Steve Bloom in this, just like Shadow of Mordor. Although, in this game, you'd never know it's him. At least in Shadow of Mordor, you can kinda tell. It's got his signature, like... Almost like thing going on. Is it ever going to load? <sighs> so it is true. Killed me. <laughs> and yet you live. What is that like? To die and live again? Do you feel pain? Do you suffer? What of the city? Of the Palantir? The Nazgul have taken both. They belong to the Dark Lord now. Then I have failed. <clears throat> what if you keep fighting? He wields the light of Galadriel. We can't recover the ring. Your rings are the cause of all this, Elf Lord. <laughs> I can see it. I see. Who are you? I'm the Blade of Galadriel. 
Since when does Caladriel work with assassins? Great threats make for unlikely alliances. You know this better than most. Now tell me more about this ring. We crafted it to defeat Sauron. But it was lost to the great spider Shelob. The Nazgul will be drawn to the power of the ring. We cannot let it fall into Sauron's hands. The light of Galadriel, give it to us! Stay your hand! My light will protect us, but it will not leave my side. We must move quickly. Try to keep up. Well, I was actually going to end it after the fight with the Nazgul, but I forgot. It's literally a run all the way there. They are scared. Let them run. We must get to Shelob before the Nazgul overwhelm her. I was going to end it right after the fight with them Nazgul, but I forgot it throws you directly into this. Even the ghouls are scared. It takes a lot to scare one of them freaky deaky boys. And it shall protect us, but I shall be the one to wield it. Wait, what? Do not tell me I have to fall. Oh, wait, is it a little. We are nearly. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, the little spiders. Oh, crap. Three, two, one. I definitely have more footage here than I thought I would. Sacrifices must be made. Why no? Take the ring. Destroy this ring. It belongs to us. Your legend holds true, Celebrimbor. This ring is different. We can use it to defeat Sauron. 
I strike down men corrupted by these rings. Do not become one of them. When the time comes, I will do what is needed. Perhaps. Get as far from here as you can. The ring rates will return. They always do. Our paths will cross again. I wish they didn't. really really do want to end but I also uh, you know kind of don't want to end and miss a cutscene Greatest assets are the power of them. And stealth. If possible, we should remain undetected until we have tilted the odds in our favor. All right. And since this video has gone on long enough, we're going to call it here. So if you did enjoy this video, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you like what I do, uh, you know, please subscribe. Uh, Trying to hit a thousand before January when uh, my stats will reset. It means I'll have to get another four thousand hours of watch time, and I really, really don't want to have to try to do that again. And uh, there is memberships now, so if you want to join, you can join. But uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and beg for you to join. I'm not a piggy bank because it's also easier for you know to beg for subscribers since you know you you lose nothing from subscribing, and uh, I gain the chance of actually you know being able to make money on videos so with all that out of the way i never know how to end a video so uh g goodbye